Hello and welcome to the Lex Kentucky Real Estate Show. I am your host and local Lexington realtor Morgan Franklin. With me as always is Rex Hall. Uh, today we are going to talk about the most terrifying thing that can happen in a real estate deal. What is it, Rex? Water in the crawl space and or basement. Yeah, it's abs. I mean, when you get that inspection request on your listing and it comes across and there's water in the crawl space or basement, you and, like your heart stops. It's a palpitation. Uh, it's terrible. It's the worst yeah. thing that could ever happen. So, um, you know, hopefully you know that you have water in your basement. Or if you're a buyer and you're going to buy a home and you find water in the basement, it's pretty important because it can cause structural damage. It can cause mold. It's one of those things that's not uh, super easily fixed. But sometimes it's an easy, quick remedy. Um, we're in the middle of a deal right now where we have water in a crawl space and it looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy solution. Um, there are, you know, more severe remedies. So Rex, let's, let's go through what, what are the easy things, if we had a little dampness in a crawl space, what are the first things you do to try and remedy that? Call a professional and have a uh, professional opinion on the severity of the issue and a remedy for the water in the crawl space. Okay, and so what are the things that they would normally tell you? Let's just say you're not calling B dry, you're not calling the basement doctor, you're not calling a structural engineer. Um, you just get you know, a recommendation to improve you know, drainage away from the house. How do you do that? Usually it's going to be your downspouts. You're going to extend the downspouts away from the house and probably exterior grade. Yeah, so exterior grade just means get more dirt up around the house so that water flows away um, and get those downspouts extended. Like at my own personal residence, uh, we had, remember that flood we had where it rained for like a week in the oh, yeah. spring? Mm -hmm. um, my sump pump, I've got a ranch on a crawl built in the 70s and the sump pump just dumped out into a flower bed that was right by the crawl space entry <laughs> and so i just after it rained enough it created an infinite loop where the water was running out of the sump pump and then just running back down into the crawl space and it was great i mean it got great workout my electricity my electricity bill was going well it was wonderful everybody loved it uh and so instead of you know having to worry about that because i caught it soon enough because i was paying attention going to my crawl uh, we just put a PVC extension on it, took it to the edge of the house, and then um, put a piece of black corrugated and took it well out into the yard, buried it so it leaches out and we haven't had a problem since. Um, that's the inexpensive way to uh, solve the problem. And if you catch it early, that's usually good enough. Um, but if you don't catch it and you're not proactive, and you start to see wet block or wet walls or heaven forbid standing water, um, you're gonna start to see structural deficiencies in the property, you'll see stair step cracks. Um, Your insulation will fall. Yeah, insulation gets wet in a crawl space when water stands in there mm -hmm. and causes it to fall down. Um, and when that stuff starts to happen, when we get that black mold, or structural cracks, that's... Fungi. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's when things get kind of ugly. Mm -hmm. So Rex, what do we do What do we do we when we get to DEF CON 3 on wet crawls or basements? Call the professional. Yeah, and it's it, 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 it ain't cheap. Mm -mm. Um, one thing I can tell you is that there are several uh, vendors here in Central Kentucky and their prices vary wildly. I'm talking like 50% uh, price differential. Um, so make sure you call around and get a couple quotes. But usually what they're gonna do, you know, phase one in a crawl space is they'll go in and trench it, put some drain tile, have it all drain into a sump pump and then pump it out. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's kind of phase one. And then phase two is to put in a proper gutter system. And like if you're in a basement, they're gonna come in and they're gonna jackhammer the slab out all the way around the exterior, put in PVC drain, pipe it around to the sump pump. Sometimes they'll do an exterior where they dig the entire, uh, <coughs> out around the foundation and the footer. They put drain tile in on the exterior of the home along with that gutter system. And I mean, cheap is four or 5,000. I would say more average is 10 to $12,000. Um, and so as you can imagine, this kills a lot of real estate deals. Yes, it does. Um, so, Rex, what, what do you what do you say to a buyer when Rex just had this problem? What do you say to a buyer when that comes up? Do your due diligence uh, and evaluate the situation and 
you call the professional, you make an informed decision, and uh, move forward with it from there. Yeah, and so hopefully um, the seller is going to be, <clears throat> you know, agreeable because, you know, if if they're selling the house and they didn't know about it before, they now do know about it. So they're going to have to disclose it the next time they try and sell the property to somebody else if your contract falls apart. So you're really just kicking the can down the road. Um, so usually you can negotiate something. Um, hopefully they have enough equity in the home to pay for it or have the financial ability to pay for it. Sometimes they don't. Uh, and sometimes they just have to live there and, you know, uh, aren't able to sell the property just because of the cost of the repair. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I would personally never purchase a home that had serious water issues just because of the foundation and the structural issues that occur. And that's when, you know, if it's starting to point towards structural, not only do we want to get, you know, a a water and basement uh, professional in there, but you also want to contact a structural engineer. And so like these, these inspections are not cheap. A lot of the uh, crawl space and water guys, you know, minimum charge a hundred, sometimes a couple hundred for that inspection, structural inspection, structural engineers, you know, start at like four or 500 just to come out. But, you know, if I'm spending $200,000 on a house, I think a thousand dollars in inspection and prevention is definitely worth it when you're looking at, you know, the cost to make these repairs. We had one, gosh, it was back last spring. Um, <clears throat> the recommended repair was 16 piers uh, dug out and put concrete underneath the foundation at a cost of $1,200 a pier. I, I stink at math. That's 12 times six, I don't know, it's like 15 grand. It was not a small chunk of change. And whoever, whoever calculates that, just put it in the comments and just make fun of us for not being able to do basic calculations. But, you know, it's really, really important to pay attention to water. Um, you know, a crack in a drywall, maybe not necessarily a big deal, but a crack in a foundation wall or a footer block or a brick veneer, you know, it's something you definitely need to pay attention to. So water's scary. Water's scary. Water uh, bad. Water bad. Water real bad. <laughs> water bad. So Rex, is there, is there anything we forgot? Oh man, um, I'm sure there is. Yeah, well, if you guys have questions about water and basements, crawl spaces, comment below. Uh, we will speak to the best of our knowledge, but ultimately you want to consult somebody who is an expert, whether it be, you know, a basement or crawl space professional or a structural engineer. Uh, make sure you do that because Rex and I, while we deal with it a lot and we, we know a lot about it, we are not the experts. No. Um, but if you guys have questions, put them down there in the comments below. Uh, you're also going to be able to find our contact information. If you want to buy a house, sell a house, just have general questions about real estate in Central Kentucky or you're just lonely. Uh, we get those calls from time to time. Somebody just wants to talk. Uh, please feel free to give us a ring. Contact information will be down there. Or like I said, uh, just, con just post your question in the comments and we will respond to you publicly. Uh, so with that... Uh, I think that's another episode of Real Estate Questions and Answers with Morgan and Rex. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.